So now we're taking a look at the 18th hole on the old course, a really tough finishing hole and one where lots of matches will be determined and lots of drinks will be decided upon. So really important in terms of whether we can find any small margins to try and lower that score on average and give you a better opportunity of finishing strong. Now we know it's 213 yards off the whites, it's 175 yards off the yellows and 135 yards off of the reds and the scoring average off of the reds is 4.3 and off of the whites it is 4.09. Now what does that mean? Well it means that every single time we're playing this hole and we finish with a three you are doing fantastically. Well if you're playing off of the reds and you are shooting over that then really there's a good opportunity to try and lower that score and average. If we can get you on the green in two shots and taking two putts so you walk off with a four, it sounds easy, but really it's going to be powerful because then you're saving 0.32 of a shot over everybody else on average that plays here off of the reds because of that scoring average being slightly higher than maybe we would like. Now off of the whites, it's 4.09. Now you might feel like you really need to par this last hole to shoot under your handicap or any of those situations. And now it's puts into context just how tricky that can be. But it, it isn't out of the question. What I would say though is if you make a four, be quite proud of yourself because that's only three quarters of a shot above what a tour pro would make. However, we are going to have a look at the best way to try and lower that score on average. So if you are somebody that needs to play it lower and you can't quite carry it all the way, here what you really want to be focusing on, it seems obvious, but is your direction. You want to be getting it as straight down the middle as possible, purely because you're going to try and run it to the green. There is no harm in taking one more club and trying to play it a little bit softer and trying to get a bit more control over that ball and trying to feed it down between these to run it up to the green. Don't feel you have to fly something all the way and hit it as hard as you can. Try and take a club that you can control a little bit easier and feed through the bunker themselves. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have the power to try and carry it over, the, over these, I'd actually go the opposite way. I'd probably try and play with some height. The reason for that is because after the green, there's a drop off. And what we don't want to do too much is try and play aggressively at this and have a chip back up over the hill because it's going to be really quite challenging. I would be probably probably recommending trying to play a more aerial shot that's going to carry over these bunkers but not have too much aggression then kicking on afterwards because it's a downhill shot. So from edge to edge the green is only about 19 yards wide. So we know that off the whites this hole is over 200 yards and we know that the tour players from 200 yards would have an average dispersion of 20 yards. So the tour players would not hit this green every single time they played it. So do not worry if you miss this green because it's expected. The reality is sometimes we can't outthink a course. We do just need to actually hit a good golf shot and that kind of comes into play on this hole. We can try and limit ourselves trying to play away from the bunkers. So if you're struggling for distance, you can try and avoid going in the bunkers and coming up short and playing it onto the green. If you're a player that doesn't get a shot on this hole because of your handicap, it's a green. Obviously, you need to take on it's a par three, but sometimes, you know what, we just have to hit a good golf shot, and that kind of comes into play on this hole. But what I would say is look at the reality and see that the scoring average for a Tour Pro from 210 yards is 3.25. So if you do make a par, enjoy your drink in the bar because really it's quite a tough finishing hole.